and became a member of the lady elect chapter number 33, Order of the Eastern Star, on September 25th, 1999. She worked diligently as a member and excelled to the office of worthy matron, where she served until her death. She was faithful to her duties and exhibited a strong conviction for what she felt was right or wrong. Being a good follower and supporter, she quickly gained the love and respect of her many friends and associates. She continued her service as a member, continuing on her journey as a faithful servant. She became a distinguished member of Matron's Council. She recognized that in sisterhood, fidelity is the chief glory in our crown and the brightest jewel of honor. She was initiated and received the Queen of the South degree. Princess Johnson became a grand officer in the Grand Queen of the South Palace, where she was installed on October 2010 as the Grand Myra for the Grand Queen of the South Palace. Continuing to perform in services toward mankind throughout the state, she joined the nurses' unit and gave support to the sick and the bereaved. As she no doubt sang the song, if I can help somebody along the way, then my living shall not be in vain. No doubt, she sang the song, I'm pressing on the upward way, new heights I'm gaining every day. Praying as I'm onward back, Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. As she made the first step into the Supreme Department, the royal and exalted degree of the Amorite, that affords the belief that the soul would enjoy eternal life in the celestial home through loyalty and friendship along life's highway. She advanced to another degree, a higher degree, the Herons of Jericho, where God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. The mercies of the Lord endure forever. The question, must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? No, there's a cross for everyone and there's a cross for me. She bore her cross and again advanced to a higher degree, the Lady of Knights Templar, a soldier of the cross, onward and upward, on the journey of fraternal sisterhood. As she traveled along her journey, she heard the words sing out, shall we meet beyond the river? Where the surges cease to roll, shall we meet and cast our anchor by the celestial shore? Advancement into the ancient Arabic order, daughters of Sphinx. The anchor by the celestial shore, thanks to the promised joys of life. Weaves a reef for every toll, a charm for every woe, and bids us look beyond the grave or fruition. Again, having proven her dedication and love for the order, and having done her work well, the degree of merit and honor as bestowed upon Sister Johnson. She became an honored member of the final and last degree, the Rose of Seven Seals. 
She came to the garden alone while the dew was still on the roses. And the voice she heard falling on her ear, the Son of God discloses. And he walked with her, and he talked with her, and told her she was his own. And the joy they shared as she tarried there, none of has ever known. Sister Lita Johnson was a devoted member of all of the affiliated departments of our fraternal order. And the memory of her work shall continue to speak for her. One by one, the links in our golden chain of sisterhood are broken. One by one. Our order of Eastern stars is forming a new, a brighter chain in the Master's mansion on high. One day, soon and very soon, all true and tried servants of God will answer that last roll call and join the host of spirits of those who have been made perfect. We too will cease from troubling and our weary souls shall find rest. Sister Lita Johnson is gone on to a brighter life and a wider field of service. She fought a good fight and kept the faith. Now she is safe, safe in the arms of Jesus. She is safe from corroding care, safe from the world temptations, Sin cannot harm her there. She has gone on to that land where joy shall never end. So we must resolve to let our deeds be pure and noble. We must do as our dearly departed and let our light shine so that men will see our good works and shall continue to direct our thoughts toward heavenly things. So that when the roll is called in heaven and the links are welded together, complete again will be our chain. The first shall be last and the last shall be first. From the eastern star she started her fraternal life and there she will forever be remembered. The Lord is now speaking to our grief-stricken hearts. Peace, be still. Although I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Sleep on, Sister Lita Johnson, and take your rest. We love you, but God loved you best. Sleep on. Perform this 14th day of February, 2011 by the Owl Star Team of South Phoenicia College, number 17, working on the Grace Pews Green College, rows of seven seals, in the city of Inglewood, where Grand Most Excellent Rose is Rosa Dorothy.